Hi, so this is Bula Joe, and this is another one of my pick a cards. So this is Glow Up and Blow Up. So the inspiration for this is how to glow up is to build up your own self-esteem, to raise your vibration and your frequency less levels, so that way you can blow up and manifest your dreams into reality. Okay, so I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Usually I shuffle all the cards and deal out the different piles and let you choose what pile you want. This time I'm going to let you pick a stone, okay? And I'm going to shuffle as I go, okay? The decks that I'm using today is the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. I am using... The Soul Purpose Oracle Deck by, by Bridget Rowe, Divine Essentials. I am using Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection. And these are not intended for, I'm not giving messages on a love interest. I'm giving messages for you, how to love yourself. Then I'm incorporating the decks that I created, Divine Feminine Embrace Your Vessel Deck. And the Queen Bee Honeycomb Affirmations deck. If you are interested in purchasing your own deck, information is down in the description box. So, the three options I have for you, the timestamps will be in the description box. Pile 1 is with the Peach Moonstone. Pile 2 is with the Skull-Shaped Lava Stone. <clears throat> and Pile 3 is with the Beautiful Blue Agate. So, if you need more time to concentrate on your videos, you can go ahead, um, concentrate on your pile, I'm sorry. You can go ahead and pause the video. I'm just going to go ahead and get started with those that picked pile option number one with the Peach Moonstone. Okay, if you chose pile option number one with this Peach Moonstone, let's see how you can, uh, how do I get that fuzz on there? Let's see how you can glow up and blow up so let's get some positivity sent your way call option number one so spirit let me know some positive wonderful things tell me about pile option number one tell me about the people who's watching this pile So first we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, that, um, <laughs> I love that. Um, swords have to do with communication. So you may be very good at communicating needs, wants, desires. We have the Page of Swords. So you may actually just be learning about some um, how to communicate you may have taken some oral communication classes um, also um, you may be doing some entry-level work when it comes to data data communication um, internet work um, things like that and you are very good at computers technology we have the four of cups so you are a spiritually evolved person. You are currently working on your spirituality. You're working on yourself. You know how to take that time out and do your meditations. Um, take some rest when you need it. You're also a very, I'm hearing, a very calming individual for other people. You're very um, soothing for other people. We have the two of wands. Again, with this, I'm seeing with messages because the bluebird, you're very good at sending those messages. Maybe good at um, text messaging and things like that. 
we have the five of cups on the bottom of the deck so you know even though you've had some issues in you know in your love life in your relationships and your connections and that's not just love exactly but it's all connections you've had some disappointments but you're still holding those cups so you still have that hope there you didn't lose all hope so that is a wonderful sign and over that we have the queen of swords so you have learned how to cut out the bullshit you've learned how to tox pe cut toxic people out of your life and move forward so those are some amazing things that is that you're good at let me pull some of these cards see if there's some kind of um, creative craft or um, something that you would be good at let's see here We have medium loved ones on the other side have messages for you you may actually that may be how you communicate you may be spiritual you may communicate with people on the other side you may help give other people comfort the living comfort um, you may talk to spirits spirit guides you may be just a strong medium You may have discovered your gift of mediumship. Um, first discovered it after a loved one passed away. We have um, essential oils, aromatherapy, therapist, remedy, illness, and broken hearts attract abundance and fresh starts. You may work with a, abundance oil, uh, essential oils. You may sell essential oils. You may encourage people to use essential oils um, to help them in their own spiritual journey. You may use them during your meditations. We'll pull some cards from the Divine Feminine Embrace Your Vessel deck. We have Phoenix Rising. That To me, that goes along with the Five of Cups. Um, you've had some disappointments. You've had things that you've endured. But you came back stronger than ever. You rose again out of the ashes. You take your experiences and help teach other people how they can do that for themselves. We have woke. So you are someone who's gone through the awakening. You, you know, I think that's something that happens, you know, progressively. I think we continue to go through our awakening. That's part of our journey. And you are considered woke. We have earth. You may have earth energy in your chart. Um, but what I'm mostly getting is that sometimes when you need to um, get grounded, you may go out and maybe do some grounding where you walk barefooted where you go barefooted um, to feel the earth's energy then we have fierce so you are a force to be reckoned with you are fierce bottom of the deck is sexual so you may um, sometimes um, do sexual magic um, but you have a very strong energy about you. We do also on the bottom of the this, this deck is divine masculine, honoring sacred masculinity, power, clarity, and confidence. So if you are in a higher soulmate connection, you may resonate as the divine masculine energy. I'm going to pull some of these queen bee honeycomb affirmation cards. Spirit. 
Okay, so we have, I have purpose. So you have a purpose on your life. You, you know, and I think it has to do with being woke and spreading that message. Okay, we have, I am strong. Sometimes you need to know exactly how strong you are. Sometimes it may seem like you do carry the world or the shoulder, the, the world on your shoulders, but do know that you have this purpose and you are capable. You know, divine source, God, um, however you resonate, um, they they don't put more on you than you can handle. You can do it. And then we have beauty surrounds me. So you're probably someone who sees beauty in every situation. Um, and we have on the bottom of the deck, it says, I am abundant. So you are learning how to um, build your own abundance. So let's get a note from the universe. And do know, and it, those that resonate with this, you're already going to know how to manifest your dreams into reality. So that's what's wonderful. You're already going to know this because you know that, um, you know, basically reach out to your, your spirit guides, your ancestor team. What do they have a message for you? Okay. And we have do, uh, well, we have this one first. It says, you're being watched by loving eyes. What if you're actually an ancient gladiator of love and joy who agreed to visit Earth during these, pr these primitive years to spark some new thinking, share a few smiles, and help others discover they too are awesome? Just saying, the universe. P.S. Up for a joust? Of course, with rubber thingies. <laughs> So part of your mission is to uplift the the vibration of this uh, of this planet, you know, to help people awaken. You may consider yourself an, an old soul, maybe a star seed, um, a light seed. We have don't be misled. To me, this is just telling me to tell you that, you know, follow your inner voice, follow your intuition. And it says when fear speaks, it's always wrong. Unless being chased by wild beasts. And when love speaks, it's always right. And usually bouncy. Game on, the universe. So sometimes, even when we're woke, we, we have to deal with those negative Nancy voices in our head. You know, those doubts and those fears. And do know that you are on the right path. And that you are such a powerful force. And you are very strong. So those, those thoughts and those fears that you give thought to and credits to, know that when you think those, those manifest as well. So make sure that you shift your focus when those fears rear their ugly head. So that way you can focus more on um, your appreciation, your, your gratefulness, your love and your happiness. And the beauty that you're surrounded with, make sure you're a fierce, fierce goddess. And um, thank you so much for all that you do for our, our humanity. Thank you so much for helping teach um, the rest of us. Um, and I include myself as well, because even though I consider myself woke, I'm still going through lessons, right? So thank you so much for your part in, in our journey and raising vibration. I'm going to go ahead and get moved on to those that picked pile option number two. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello. Those of you that chose pile option number two with this lava stone skull. Okay. So let's look and see how we can encourage you and glow you up so you can blow up those manifestations. Okay. So, first going to shuffle these cards. So, if, if you see a little bit of smoke coming through, don't be alarmed. I had to burn some sage. That way I could clear the energy from pile one. Peace. 
spirit tell me about pile two with the lava stone skull okay so we have the seven of cups we have the star card you may have some Aquarius in your chart. You don't have to. I'm just saying you might have it in there. Tell us about Paul II, all the stone people. Okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles that come out. These two cards come out before those. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. You can't see all the cards. So let me do it like this. Okay. So bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So you had a lot of stress. Um, a lot of things you've been dealing with, maybe lost some sleep, have some mountains you've been trying to climb. This is covering the Queen of Swords. So it may be stress about someone who may have, you may have lost your job, you may have been cut out of something, um, or you may have just simply been dealing with someone else's bullshit. But let's go ahead and take a look. So... Let me tell you about you. We're going to talk about... Let's talk about you. So, um... <laughs> Seven of Cups. You, um... You have some dreams and aspirations. We have the Seven of Cups and the Star card. So, you have these dreams that you're really wanting to aspire to. You have these hopes. And, um... It's like you can't stop thinking about it. And you know that it's going to take money and finances to get where you're going your dreams you're someone who's very generous and part of your dreams is being able to um create uh, maybe it's a homeless shelter or maybe it's a soup kitchen maybe it's a women's uh, an abused women's shelter for women and their children um maybe it's it's counseling it, whatever it is it's for helping other people um because you are a very generous person you are someone who's very hopeful you are like a light seed you're like this this light in the darkness um we also have the queen of pentacles the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles there's lots of pentacles here so you may have some earth in your chart um you're someone who you're down to earth you are someone who's good with budgeting and finances. Um, you're good at helping other people possibly budget their finances as well. And you have learned how to be very independent. You know, everything, you know, everything you have, you've built yourself. And I, 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 I'm getting with this nine of pentacles for some of you. The stones that other people may have thrown at you. The stones other people threw at you and caused tears. You built your own castle with that. You built your own castle. So, let me get some of these Soul Purpose Oracle cards to see, you know, what exactly, what's some stuff you'd be good at? What's some stuff you're good at? Spirit, tell me about how to with the lava stone skull. Tell me some amazing stuff about pile two. Okay. So we have Jewel Smith Craft, Create, and Work with Crystals. You may be good with crystals. You may be good at creating jewelry. You may be good at opening your own Etsy shop. You may already have your own Etsy shop. You may do Reiki healing with crystals. 
We have potion maker, herbs and oils, spile, spices, boiled, a witch, a heart, an easy start. You may, I, I'm seeing elderberry, elderberry syrup in my head. So you may be someone who helps, you know, family members and loved ones and other people um, with um, your little concoctions like sleep aids, you know, using lavender and chamomile or um, headache remedies or whatever. You may be someone who, you know, is good at working in a pharmacy, but it all ties down to me with healing. I think you're a healer and you want to use your gifts to help other people who are in need of that, possibly who don't have the financial um, stuff that you do. We have remover of obstacles, chanting and channeling with your voice, eliminates suffering and heals blockages for yourself and others. So definitely I think you're some type of spiritual healer. Um, you have shamanic abilities and uh, medicine like a medicine woman. We have Bomb the Duck Divine Feminine, honoring the ways of the sacred feminine cycles of rebirth. So you may resonate as the Divine Feminine. So let me pull some of these Divine Feminine cards. These are the cards that I created. Tell me about how to steer it. You may not know this about yourself, but you are provocative and sexy. <laughs> you may be someone who likes to push those limits. And to do that, sometimes you got to provoke other people. We have powerful. You are more powerful than you realize. You are a very powerful person. You have the ability to manifest what you want into reality. One more card, please, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> so we have sexual. So you may use some sex magic to, to manifest some things. Um, bottom of the deck is woke. So you may be someone who you consider yourself to be woke. Um provocative and sexual so let's get some of these queen bee cards from the queen bee honeycomb Asper Aff affirmations deck <laughs> oh, i love y'all paul too i can't help it So we have, that's why I'm giggling, because you're provocative, you're sexual, you're powerful, you are the nectar. <laughs> it's like, come here baby, I got this honey for you. <laughs> you. You naturally attract things to you. You are amazing and powerful, pile too. Like, you can draw anything you want to towards you. Whether you realize that or not, you can get anything you want. I'm trying to see if anything else is going to come out of this honeybee, honeybee affirmations. Honeycomb affirmation, whatever. I'm the one that named it and I can't even say the name. <laughs> I'm going to go one more round. Okay, so that's okay. Bottom of the deck is I create. So that's probably what you needed to know. You are the co-creator of your own reality. 
Now let's get a note from the universe. I don't usually do the shuffling on deck on, on camera, but I thought, well, it'd be a nice change, you know. Okay. Okay. So you have keep it simple. Old souls use words very sparingly, except, of course, for I, love, thank, you, wow, now, and cool. Wow, I love you now, the universe, P.S., which sounds much better than wow, now, I love you. Sequence is important. <laughs> I love that. It reminds me of um, those memes sometimes you see on Facebook or Instagram. Um with the punctuation and how important that is. And then we have, it's not only about being right. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other's perspective. Don't you agree? the universe. And then your final card is, those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally ho, the universe. So I think that you in retrospect um, to glow up, you just need to realize how powerful you truly are and that you are already, you know, you are for example, in, in spells to attract money or love or whatever you're wanting to attract to you, especially if it's a jar spell, we, you know, we often put honey into the jar so that way we can attract it, you know, especially if it's a sweet jar. I'm not talking about them sour jars. I'm talking about the sweet jars. And, you know, it was funny because you got provocative and sexy and I am the nectar. I create. So you attract everything simply by being you. You know, it's talking about simply forget they're watching. Just simply be you. And you're going to create and manifest everything you your heart desires. Thank you so much, Pile 2, for watching. I truly enjoyed your energy. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Those of you that chose this beautiful, be I love this tone. Isn't that a beautiful blue color, blue agate? So, let's look about how we can blow you up with your self-esteem and self-awareness and know just how amazing you are, Pile 3. So that way, not only do you glow up, but you blow up in your manifestations, okay? Because the best way to manifest your dreams into reality is to, um, it starts with your thoughts, Okay, and your belief in what you deserve. So if you believe you deserve it and you know how powerful you are and you know about the amazing things you have going for you, then those positive thoughts generate positive action, which generates the energy to create the pot of positive manifestations into your life. So let's glow you up. Okay, pile three. So I don't usually shuffle on camera, but... Um, I'm doing it on camera <laughs> and they are going ahead and flying I had difficult with like pile two but for you these are just flying out of the deck <laughs> Wow so you have the four of wands the Emperor the page of Pentacles <laughs> And the Ace of Cups. I'm going to go through one more time and see if there's anything else Spirit's wanting to tell me about. Wonderful Pile 3. Tell me something else about beautiful, wonderful Pile 3. You are amazing. 
So we have the Knight of Cups. And these all fell out. There's just too many. I'm not going to take all these. Well, yeah, I'm not going to take all these. So, okay. Bottom of the deck huh, is Temperance. So you have a lot of patience. You've been really patient. Whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest, whatever you're wanting to happen, and it looks like it has to do with love or your divine connection. <laughs> um, and this is covering the Seven of Cups. You kind of had your head up in the clouds about it. You know, you've been thinking about it. You've been wondering about it. You kind of have your head stuck in the cloud. You daydream about it. You may have night dreams about it. Um, and the thing about you, though, that I'm seeing from these cards, number one, you are extremely patient, okay? Um, you, <laughs> you are balanced within yourself, because to me, the Four of Wands has to do with union, right? But we're talking about you. So you are very balanced within yourself, Um the Emperor card lets me know that you are a force to be reckoned with. You may carry the Divine Masculine energy. So, to me, the Divine Masculine is someone who's the go-getter. They're the person who, who goes after it, right? Um, they're very a very dominant personality. We have the the Page of Pentacles. So, the Page of Pentacles, the thing, look, it looks like, he, it looks like that pinnacle is awfully heavy. So, you, you may be someone who... Um, is in the learning stages of how to budget and finance, um, trying to create um, something for yourself in the future, maybe even for your children. You may like dogs because there's a dog there. We have the Ace of Cups. So you are someone who's very, you're very loving, you're very giving. You may often find that you give more to others than you get back in return. Um, and that's, a, it's, you know, a lot of people complain about being that way, but it's really good as long as you know how to set your boundaries. We have the Knight of Cups to me, it looks like. This Knight of Cups, I love this because it looks like, um, it looks like, you know, when you're riding a bull, you're bull riding, and it looks like he's bull riding a, a fish. So, you know, this Knight of Cups comes in and tries to offer romantic gestures to somebody. But what I'm seeing that tells me about you is that you do have a romantic heart, even though you may, you know, try to hold that back and not express it much um, because you do have the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles here. But you are a very loving and flowing energy. Um, you do have very deep depths when it comes to your love and commitment to other people. Uh, you are very loyal and you are, you like to be, you like to help other people. You're like the knight in shining armor. So let's pull some of these and I hope my battery doesn't go dead before um, I finish this reading. It's almost dead. It's like you just told me 15%. So let's pull you some of these soul purpose cards by um, Bridget Rowe, Divine Essentials. Spirit, tell me more about Pile 3. This beautiful, loving, romantic, generous energy here. We have Medium. That was with Pile 1, so you may be, you may be someone who's clairvoyant, uh, clairaudient, psychic, you may talk to ancestors or loved ones on the other side. You may actually give messages to people like, if you walk in the grocery store, you may be like, um, do you know that your, your Aunt May is trying to tell you that, you know, such and such, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anything else you want to tell me about Pile 3 with these, these cards? Okay, I'm not getting anything else with these cards. Bottom of the deck is the Peacemaker. Channeling peaceful energies, perspectives, and solutions for Earth inhabitants. So, you are an Earth lover. You like to probably protect, what I'm getting is you like to protect the Earth. You like to do things that um, maybe recycle, um, bring awareness to... Um, different things that's happening in the earth to other people, whether it's to the earth or to, you know, people who's been victimized. 
You like to uh, bring, you're also someone who's good at being the mediator. So let's look at, I'm going to pull you some cards from the Divine Feminine Bracer Vessel Oracle deck that I created. Pile three. Ah, that's too many. I'm not taking those. They just flew out. They want to say a whole bunch about you. Okay. First it came out. We have the healer. And I love this card because it has some geometric symbols in it, some sacred geometry. So you are someone who likes to um, create, not just heal other people, but you want to heal them on a, a DNA cellular level. Okay, You may talk about killing others at a cellular level. We have womb magic. So to me that talks about manifesting things into reality using the magic of your womb. I do have release the rage that fell out. So some of you may have some anger issues that you're trying to work on. Bottom of the deck is self-care. So make sure you do things to take care of yourself. If you feel like it's time to get a haircut, well, this is your sign. Go get the haircut. You know, you may need to take a salt bath or a milk bath, something that makes you feel beautiful. You know, do your, you get a new hairstyle, um, get a, this, a new outfit. Or, you know what? What I'm seeing is maybe get a new um, bra and panty set that makes you feel beautiful. I'm being told to pull this off, death and rebirth. So there's some changes that, that, um, that you're, probably going through also um what i'm hearing is you go through cycles to where you're really good at healing you're really good at holding vibration i mean energy and then you have cycles of darkness where you have all this rage so to balance that out um do some self-care i'm gonna pull some cards from the queen bee honeycomb affirmations deck that i created of course, if you need, um, if you want to purchase any of my decks, you can always find the link down in the description box. So we have, I believe, so believe in yourself, basically, is what I'm hearing. You know, believe in yourself. Again, it's, it's, it's funny that we've got this card with the geometric symbols, the sacred geometry on it, and then you got these symbols as well. So just know to believe in yourself that you are magical. Soul tribe. Sometimes you may need to rely on your soul tribe. Um, your soul tribe may be coming into you at this time. And I persevere. So just stay strong. Know that you are doing everything that you can. And sometimes you may get stressed out thinking, Oh, I'm, it seems like I'm doing all this by myself. I'm the only one that cares about such and such that's going on. But... Do know that your soul tribe does have your back. Your soul tribe does feel what you feel. They believe in you. Um, they believe in y'all, your tribe and your soul family. And <clears throat> they see you striving to push forward and make improvements not only in yourself, but also in the world. And you can do it. Bottom of the deck, my frequency buzzes high. So that that's a beautiful message for you because that's what this whole point of this pick a card is is to raise your vibration so that way you can manifest all these changes that you're wanting to make in the 3d world you can do this you are a very strong manifester um, you have magic within you you are a healer but you also have to heal yourself you know being on a journey on a spiritual journey and evolution you know um, we constantly, as we heal others, 
and we teach others, we teach ourselves as well. So I'm going to pull one more card, and it's going to be from the, I say one more, last, last pile, pile two had a several cards come out. Um, but I'm going to pull a card from um, this notes from the universe. Let's see what the has to say. That's too many. I'm not taking those. Okay, maybe I will. Spirit saying, yes, you will. <laughs> I love it when Spirit argues me and says, yes, you will. Okay. So, you ended up getting four cards. So, first we have love in spite of it all. And it says, before this odyssey ever began, there was you your best friends, and wide-eyed curiosity among you about who would be the first to leap, the first to forget, the first to kiss, the first to tell, the first to fall, the first to get back up, and the first to remember that it all began with a dare to love in spite of it all. So, you know, love raises your vibration. <laughs> Is that you... Uh, I don't even know how to say that. Murgatroyd, the universe. P.S. I remember the glint in your eyes. All three of them. So, you, you use your third eye quite a bit. So, we have, you have more options than you realize. And it says, it sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. And you can, the universe. That has to go with your release the rage. There's someone maybe that you've been really enraged about. Time to make a demonstration. The older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner to say, I love you. They also skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside. Utterly fearless, the universe. And your final message is, sometimes the good is hidden. And it says, find the good in what they said or asked. It's always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. Sherlockly yours, the universe. P.S. Clues for what you want are hidden all around. So that's food for thought. That's food to help you get uh, elevated and glow up and blow up those manifestations that you want into reality. Thank you so much for joining me. I enjoyed this pick a card reading. Have a great night. Bye-bye.